What's the point of having an RV inspection? Yeah, you're right. If it is an old rig, you'd say, yeah, I gotta go check that out because it's old. The new ones, come on, they're brand new. Hello, let's go check that out because we're heading to General right now. Let's go see what kind of trouble we got ourselves into. It's RV inspection day and we are in Dover, Florida at General RV and they have already plugged in our unit and we are inspecting this. 2023 Coachman Encore 325 SS. Now I've already walked inside just to get a general glimpse and I've not seen anything yet. And I'm gonna see if Pierre has because he's kind of taking a little walk around and we're gonna let you know after at lunchtime, midday, what we have found so far. This facility was awaiting for us. I haven't seen nobody. I love it when they do this. Here's the rig, here it is plugged, and you're on your own. They didn't put the leveling system. We're gonna have to redo everything, but my first glimpse for people who think that you don't need an inspection, come over here. Why would you see this? Why would you look at this? I understand your knowledge is, is restrained, but for me, this is a bad habit right away. I see this slim rack. Take it at an angle, you'll see. This is bowed already, so go up and see this, yep. So this right away is an issue that me being outside, Laurel being inside, I'm not there to fix the problem, but we'll actually be able to isolate that problem and put it on a report that this gotta be addressed for whatever reason. Maybe there's something caught behind the slide inside, but we'll see. So right now, we're going to work, getting out our table, our tools, and we'll see you at lunchtime. Welcome to lunchtime. Uh, you think you have it made? You think you don't need an inspector? Yeah, you're right. It's a 2023. Why would you need an inspector? Boom, wrong again. So let's see what we found so far. It's just lunchtime. Let's just see what we found so far. Well, we had a blast here. That was fun. So I did my engine fluid. Uh, low fluid we got coolant that is low hey it's nobody's fault but it has to go here no it's down here so those are little details but ah if you did your pdi you would look all into that i'm sure you would this wall is beautiful that's another thing that you look at we look at the seal and but see i take a ladder to look at all my upper seal and all my top my windows and everything and on this one as Lowell showing you this little video that i took all this sealant has nothing to do with the manufacturing with the dealer it's whoever this guy did this ceiling he was sleeping he wasn't on the job that day so but that but that's on top you wouldn't see it so how would you know so i ended up on on the roof almost a hundred percent roof it, it's i was excited this whole unit i've been thinking wow this is solid i i don't find much stuff it looks solid then i end up in this vent cover as Lowell can show you this little pinhole, this little thing, is not about the guy who installed the sealant. It's about the sealant that is actually a water-based sealant, was laid on there nicely, just like on all the other components on the roof. But the sun, the heat, bubbles up, creates oxidation and, and oxygen in that little bubble, and all of a sudden that little bubble bursts. The burst leaves you a little pinhole, so there's a pinhole to fix on top of that. So I'm, I did my tires, but I still got to go underneath the, the carriage. I end up on this side uh, at one point this morning, and uh, whoa, 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 look at this water. So as I'm here, all of a sudden, water's dripping out from here. From here, huh? I mean, it's flooded down here. It's dripping from everywhere. I said, what the? I'm not kidding you, and I didn't put that water there. So let's go see what Laurel found inside then. <laughs> if you enjoy our videos, we would love it if you'd hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put C4BO, comment for Blue Ox. Now let's talk about today. Remember, it's lunchtime. We're only halfway through the entire day. If you thought you were gonna show up, do your PDI, and leave, do you think that you would do a load of laundry while you're there? 
I'm gonna come back to the laundry. So let's start here. I started with my ceilings. Because we have so many times we have water intrusion, I like to know what's going on with the ceilings. Yes, they're dusty. Yes, there's probably some bug juice here and there, but we have several gouges throughout the ceiling. And there's one that Pierre's showing you right now. And there's a couple more that are right directly in front of the door of the bathroom. So once he told me that I had water hooked up, I said, you know what, I'm gonna start a load of laundry. And I did, I started a load that's about a 35 minute load. And I said, I'm gonna come back to my kitchen and start all of my testing of my sinks. Did my kitchen sink, everything was great. Said, okay, great, let's go into the bathroom. So on the way to the bathroom, I'm gonna tell you about my refrigerator. So we have this beautiful fridge, GE, and yes, there's still some blue plastic that she's gonna to have to clean off. Sorry, Deb, you're gonna to have to do that or ask someone to do it for you. But we have no lock, nothing that locks this door. Also, it's a brand new fridge. So here's this nice little emblem and you can see that it's not even attached. I've done the fireplace, it's perfect, works great. My laundry's still going as we're talking and the dryer's still going. And then I came into the bathroom and I said, and I am going to test my toilet. Let me tell you, that toilet stinks. And uh, it's been at the 2023 Tampa RV show, so tell me people did not pee in your brand new unit. So I came down here and I wanted to check all of my sealant and I could see that from my finger to the wall there's no sealant and around here it's missing sealant but again it's gobbed here and then there's no sealant to the wall so I predicted I said you know what I bet it's going to leak as I was predicting there's the leak all the way to the back can see that is standing water. See my finger puddling? I can't get any further because my hand does not fit. But that is not sealed at all. The entire base of the shower. All the way to that wall. Sure enough, it leaks. And I'm telling you, that would not be fun to be in your brand new unit and have this leaking. And I started doing cupboards. I came into the bedroom and I said, you know what? I'm gonna film my washing machine, film my washer. It's still going 17 minutes in, dryer's going good. Turned my back, not even two minutes. And I heard Pierre yelling, we've got a leak right here. The water was all over the floor. It was like a river going right down to the pilot seat. Thank God we travel and we bring a lot of towels with us. And man, did we have a mess. So if you think that you were gonna show up and do a load of laundry at your PDI, I highly doubt you would have, but you weren't gonna be leaving that day because they need to fix that. But. I started coming in doing some of my cupboards. I'm gonna finish that this afternoon, but I wanna show you something really cool. This feature right here, typically we lift the bed and under the bed is your storage. But it's not, it's like a little wardrobe. You've got your mirror, you've got little cupboards down underneath here, and on the other side, a place for your shoes. How cool is that? And if you wanna sit to put your shoes on, you got a great place to sit. So I'll see you at the end of the day. End of day. This was a nice one. It was actually kind of, I, I was excited, excited at the beginning of the day. Everything looked solid. Everything looked kosher. Everything was nice to look at. And then all of a sudden this water thing came up inside. That was kind of discouraging. But right, to show you a couple of things here, stuff that you wouldn't, keep an eye on probably are you the smart one oh yeah you'd see everything so these are the kind of things those are screws Th this trim is your trim for your floor so this screw needs sealant in there this one and this one ask me why there's only three and not anywhere else I don't know but that's a little detail because like I said back off a little bit back up this is your floor so when you look at this trim on your camper this is the floor of your camper so if water goes in there you're rotten your floor just saying i had issues with the inverter and the converter because it looked like my voltage was staying at one point whenever i took the generator took it off brought it back to the to the the shore power and all of a sudden 
everything's working. So I recommended on my report that to have somebody explain to you the sign system, the sign wave, so to know which button to put it so it's actually charging because there's a solar pa panel on here. So this is kind of new. I'm, I'm stunned about this. First time I see this for me. This is a new thing exclusive to Forest River. This is a Yamaha engine. So it's inverter integrated. So guys, you inspectors, don't try to find an inverter. They somehow put it in there. So cool, it's working, I'm happy. And a 5,500 watt. So we'll see how those stand up with time. Then I did all the underneath, everything was kosher, but there was a lot of rust. So it's kind of surprising that uh, it took 11 months from the frame to the construction of the house. And then all of a sudden, it took another year before it sold, but it's called a 2023. Well, it didn't take a year. No, sorry, I'll take that back. It took about four months before it was sold. So it's, it's funny to see the rust that's on the frame, but no big deal. Here, it's an example. Another thing that you're gonna pick up, you're gonna pick up your rig. Well, there goes, this door is totally out of whack. So either somebody bent it, because I can see there's a bent there. So either they fix it, either they adjust it, but that's one thing that wouldn't you like to be able to have something that works? How much did you pay for your rig again? I think you deserve it. So we'll go on the other side. Let's go meet up Laurel inside because I don't have much more here. And uh, her and I will probably finish this up on tandem. So let's go see what she had in there. Thankfully, the rest of the day was not as eventful as this morning, but still a couple of things. Maybe minor to some, but she's buying a brand new rig and underneath both these seat cushions, the Velcro is detached. So those seat cushions can flop all around. Also, her lovely little recliner right here has a beautiful tear in it. Again, this came from the show. So you're buying this pretty penny for you. I think you deserve that your furniture doesn't have rips in it. Everything else was perfectly fine. All the windows, the electrical, all the USBs, the TVs, the radio, everything was good. Everything from the rest of the afternoon. So I'm quite pleased about that. And Pierre and I are going to sit down and just sum everything up for you. All right, to sum it up, I, it just hit me that today was one of those days where typically for people who follow us, you see that typically I find stuff outside. Yes, in the, in, in the old one, it's more dramatic because it's stuff that people hide. This is brand new 2023. You come on site, you look at the unit, and I was excited this morning. My roof, everything was going good. I can see, I can feel there's a strong, um, I would say, ethic that went into this unit. So I was kind of amazed. It was really nice until 10, 30, 11 o'clock when I had to yell at Laurel. Flash flood! So I felt like a flash flood. We had to run away. It's just the towels and stuff. I should have filmed. Like I told her, next time I'm filming. There wasn't time to film. We needed to clean this mess up. We don't want that water staying here. All I could think of, our customer, Oh my gosh, Deb, thank goodness. She's moving in this. Can you imagine if all her boxes were their dry foods or her clothes or on the floor and then she decided to do laundry? Yeah, everything would have been a mess. So this is you. That's what we're talking at lunchtime. This is you. You bought a new rig. You don't need an inspector because you know it all. You're one of them. So you leave and half an hour later, uh, you end up in Timbuktu, 30 miles away or 100 miles away or 1,000 miles away when you decide to try to do your laundry. Or let's say you, you're gonna try to outsmart me again. Well, we stayed in the parking lot of the dealership and we, we packed all our stuff and we're doing laundry that night. Why do you have all your stuff on the floor that is now getting flooded that now you're gonna have to go inside a base somewhere when it fits their need to fix your laundry and your machine and whatever's leaking. Is it a big deal? Has it been leaking for a long time? You don't know what you're getting into. You ain't getting out of here, people. Just saying. Once again, this is our customer. She's by herself. She's heading out on the road, starting this new venture. And that's the wrong way to start. You don't want that, but she was smart. Thank you, Deb. You were smart to hire an inspector, whether it's us or another inspector. No, nobody else, just <laughs> us. Do not, do not chime for other, I'm kidding. You pick up whoever you want, you whoever you want. I'm not sure if he's kidding. He's kidding. But 
it was really smart of her to hire an inspector to find all these things because she doesn't need to go through that. When you come and you go through your PDI, you want to get in and get out. But if all these things are issues, you're not getting in and you're not getting out. We've been here today and we were just talking about that. The people that are in the back, they had the generator going and we're trying to imagine did they get a new rig or are they going they to the like shop? They look like they're unpacking they're and repacking. So. Wow. So if that's you and you think you're going to repack and just transfer rig and leave with that new rig because it's new. So there's no problem with a new rig. How many times have you followed our videos? Uh, have we yet about to find one that was close to perfection? Ever? Mm, maybe one. Okay. Maybe one. We'll research in those videos. I'm going to research and I'll link it above. There you go. That's what I'll do. Having this inspection is peace of mind. Even if you know everything about everything, it's peace of mind and you don't have to do it. They need to fix it before you sign on the dotted line. Hey, she's talking to you. You know you. You know who you are. I'm looking at you. <laughs> so on that note, remember and do never forget. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Welcome, Vermont. That's where she's going. <laughs>